Can PDP repeat the feat it achieved in Edo in the upcoming Ondo governorship election? Find out. This is Plus Politics. I am Coyote Ladengue. Welcome back. This is Plots Politics. Let's get the boat rolling. Why PDP is still basking in the euphoria of his hard earned victory in a dual governorship election last Saturday? It says it is not resting on its oars ahead of Ondo governorship election, which comes up on October 10. While the situation is not the same with a dual state, in that there is no power of inc incumbency. It boasts that Nigerians at large are tired of the ruling party APC. To talk more on this position is the head of the media Ejitai or Jagede campaign organization, Mr. Benson Enikwome, uh, is joining us live in the studio. Good evening, sir. It's a pleasure being here. And good evening to our viewers at home. And good to have you. Yeah, Wonder, thank you. You were here via phone two days ago. And uh, the feedback I got from you and your counterpart from ABC was that, oh, we need to stay on this discussion because the time was quite short. So let's hope that we'll maximize time. Let's look at um, the idea of from a do to undo. And uh, people will say that, um, especially the ruling party will say you are daydreaming, that it's a different ball game. And if you want me to remind you, you remember the fact that, oh, even the former national chairman of APC then, um, the incumbent governor was not in his camp. So the man that was believed to be the reason why they lost is no longer in the aim of affairs. So they feel they will cost them to victory. But the truth of the matter is uh, when the Arab Spring began, um, some countries that ordinarily should make changes when the um, kind of revolution, let me use the word, was on, uh, refused and felt nothing would happen. But this is a movement. Nigerians are fed up with the APC from all strata of the society, from local government to the state and to the national. And the truth of the matter is that from now till 2023, Nigerians are not desirous that APC should win any election whatsoever. That statement was made in Edo State. Uh, it was not equivalency. It was equivalent on the people of Edo State to take a decision, which they did. And the, the statement was loud. The government is for Edo people. It shall be run by Edo people for the benefit of, of Edo, Edo people. people, and Edo people must choose who would lead Mr. them Mr. in that Mr. Nukwame, um, why you will continue to insist that VDP is the option, but let's look at the indices, let's look at the factors that work against APC, and the most common one is the issue of Godfederism, and people will say there's nothing like that in Ondo State. You, you see, the truth of the matter is um, when, when you get um, a boxer to an angle, particularly Angu 90, uh, something must have led to it that made him not to be able to escape your punches, your jabs, and all that. The APC cannot escape the jabs of what is transpiring. You, you know, here is a government that came on the platform of no other thing than propaganda at the national and at the state. When the president was coming in, he said within a few period of time, six months, Boko Haram would have been over, insurgency would have been over, and now first term, insurgency increased, second term, insurgency continues. How do you believe such a person? It went ahead to say corruption will be dealt with. And we even find out that the organization that handles corruption the head of that organization is also corrupt. Hmm. So how do you get out? How do you want us to look at this? Oh, you said that the economy will be addressed. And now you can ask yourself, how much is a bag of rice sold? So from up, 
down. It is the same story. So the issue is not um, the factors are not the same, whatever it is. A man is dead. What killed him? If it's hypertension, it is by reason of death. If it is a um, headache, if it is stomach problem, whatever, doctor must give a name. So for APC, it is a fading away government. And as okay, is already Mr. filled. You know, you know that, and therefore... You know, and, that's, that's a quite debatable. Oh, Sometimes oh no, the, reason, the reason why we do post-mortem is to prevent it from happening. And yeah. so probably APC has done their post-mortem. Uh, uh, and they've looked at it that the indices that led to our failure in Edo is not longer present. But because of time, when we talk about the second term, what usually inform that is performance. Exactly. So when we talk about the performance of the incumbent governor, uh, uh, from the results of the primaries, it sends a strong signal that is widely wanted across every of the local government in Ondo State. You, you see, I am not a member of their party, but I am aware that there is a matter pending in court against him on that particular matter uh, by Dr. Nat Adujutelegon. And what has he said? He said, the, their constitution provides that if they are going to do that kind of indirect primary, that an election for that purpose by delegates must be done. That was never done. In fact, the, the crop of uh, delegates that elected um, Arakumri back, the case in question, the case that uh, affects that particular election, is depending in court. So um, let's leave Kubensi aside. What did Akede Dulu led administration do in on those state that would justify him coming back? That should be the question. And I tell you this from the south to the central and to the north, if you put Akede Dulu's government on a scale, the scale we read, Tekel. You wonder what is Tekel? I was going to ask that. Oh, yeah. You need to go to the book of Daniel, chapter 5. Okay, Teke, Teke, Ufasin. Yes, Mene, Mene, Teke, Ufasin. When God found out that Nebuchadnezzar was messing up with the people of the land, then the handwriting came on the wall. Mene, Mene, Teke, Ufasin. And what is Teke? You have been way in the balances on education, you don't meet up. You have been weighed on the balances. On health, you have failed. You have been weighed on balances. On employment, you are nowhere to be found. These were the things you promised. These were the things you said. These were the things you promised the people that we do. How did you increase the payment of education from 30,000 Naira that was being paid before now to over 200,000? People talked, they begged, they appealed, you refused. Now, election is just about a few days to this um, to, to be heard. You now came back and said, hey, well, I have reduced it by 20,000. You, do you think you are fooling the people from the state? It doesn't work that way. I am from the oil producing area, from Ilaja in particular. And I dare say that this government made a nonsense of the on those state oil producing area development commission. There is a commission set put in place by the on those state government, particularly in 2003, though the, um, Chief Adekunle sorry, yes, Chief uh, Adebayo Adefarati was the one who first set up the 13% derivation. But Dr. Agagu came in and then restructured that law and ensure that that law became functional. It was through that particular commission that the road from Igbokoda to Ubonla, which is about 31 kilometers, was constructed. Through that commission, the road from Akintibua down to Araromi, almost about 40 kilometer road, was constructed. My brother, I tell you, four bridges, four main bridges, they are the longest bridges we have in Ondo State. The Ofara Bridge, which is by Bokoda, the Aboto Bridge, which is at Aboto, the uh, Alakbe Bridge, 
The Alakbe Bridge is the longest in the whole of Ondo State. Then you also have the bridge that connects Okitipupa and Irele. These were done by Dr. Olushe Gwagagu within the short period of time he had sway. Now, what did this government do? The question is absolutely nothing. Oh, the last time I was speaking, my younger brother, Honorable Tito Atikashi, said, uh, no, there was this road construction that is going um, to Atijere. I want to say, that road project did not begin with them. And um, if, if by any means you travel on that road, the road has not been constructed. No, it is, it is a fluke. You don't deceive people during this period of time. You go to that road. I am willing to sponsor people from this station to go to that station. Let the Ondo State government not pay. I will pay. Let us go and see the road that they say is going to uh, Atijere. Don't deceive the people. Nothing happens. In fact, I don't know whether you have seen this video that went viral. Some young guys in Ilaje had to go and, and uh, put um, a kind of ribbon to say they were going to fly off. For example, there's this um, bypass at um, this town between Okitipupa and um, Odeaye, which was flagged up sometimes in 2018, early part of 2018. Up to today, that road is a mess. Now, this, the road that they tell us, if you go to the street of, uh, that is the road, if you go to the street of Ondo State, you will see, uh, before you oh, continue, bypass is before, done. Before you continue, let me just put it on record that uh, we will have uh, an APC chief team to come and do all the defense of why uh, some of the issues you've raised. But in the interim, let's look at the reality. You have been in government. You understand how government works. Do you expect some of this construction to be done within three years, four years? You, you, you may not be able to complete, but you must tell the people the truth that this particular project is ongoing and not that you go and take a shot within the middle of the road, and say, look at Okitipupai Bokoda bypass. And, and then you flash it to people who are ignorant. These are days of social media. People will show it. I, I, must, I must confess, there are places where Akere Dulu also worked. I don't deny it. For example, in Owo, which is his hometown, he has done well for the Owo people. And um, I think this day, the way things you are... You're also from uh, Ondo North, right? That is Ondo North. Ondo North, I'm talking about a war. I'm not talking about Ose. So you didn't get to... Oh, get no, out. no. The, the, uh, Ondo North has uh, six local governments, namely Owo, Ose, Akoko South West, Akoko South East, Akoko North East, and Akoko North West. He did well for them in Owa Town. I'm talking about Owa Town. Then when you go to Ikare, there is this um, uphill that has been there for a long period of time in Ikare. Now, Dr. Mimiko began that process, couldn't finish. But today, he has gone ahead to complete it. I'm not, there's no doubt about it. But when you remove Owa and that Ikare, tell me which other areas that he has brought on board that we engender anyone. Then come to Akure. In Akure, you will see the road that connects the high court and Nepa, about 500 meters or so, that he did, he dualized. Then you go through hospital road. Those ones are still under construction. But when you go to the interland of Akure, by the time you go to Okejebu, when you go to Oshinle, when you go down, down to um, the road that uh, goes to some of the hitter land, there is nothing. You know what they call this in my area? They say, just to do sunshine bubble. So you see, when you come on board, you see this uh, one. But when you go to on those Mr. Nikome, let's, let's, let's try and put it into perspective. You know, I, I live in Nigeria, and I understand what you're saying. But where I don't understand is... Do you expect the state government to be the one fixing the adjoining roads, the inner roads? This should be the function of the local government. Oh. So from your submission now, you mentioned that the major roads are tarred, 
Fi what you call shine-shine. Yes. They are done. They are fixed. And you, I'm happy you're not denying this. No, no, you know. So where, where is the function of the local you, you, government? You, you know, I always speak the truth. I don't, I won't lie. Because these are things that are obvious. That he has fixed the, um, or what do you call it, hospital road and um, high court road. Can you deny this? It's not possible. But when you compare that to the quantum of resources available to the state, the government, with greatest respect, has in not this, done well. In this region of bailout, in this region of what we know what is happening to my, everybody. My, my dear brother, if you put a quantity of some quantity of soup inside a cup and you prepare it, if you do it well, you will eat and your children will be satisfied. The point I am making is this. The government has rendered the local government completely useless. Roads that are local roads, roads that will lead to the village, no local government can do it because the funds available to the local government have been appropriated. And therefore, Mr. Rotimi Akiridulu SCN does not deserve the people coming to say, sir, you have done well. Only one person has enjoyed that in Ondo State. And that is Dr. Lucia Gumimiko. In the first tenure of his office, Dr. Mimiko of Labour Party then did well. And that is the truth. We can't, we can't wish it away. Anybody can say anything about Dr. Mimiko. He brought a BA. He brought father, mother, and child hospital. So if we truly did this, then where, what happened to all these roads that are yet to be fixed that you're talking the, about? The, the point I'm making is this. When a road is fixed, that road must be maintained. You don't take your bath in the morning and say, oh, I have fixed it in the morning. And for three days, you are like that. Once people ply on that road, that road okay. must be fixed. I, and that have, is what I have I quite a load here. I, I think you've talked about performance. Let's hope that... Uh, the other guests no, for performance, he can't, he can't get anything. Let, let, it will be about 2, two or 3%. Let's look at uh, the irony of what happened in our politics. And, for example, in uh, last election, there was no room to even talk about performance in a dull state. People were talking on Godfrey Rarism. People were talking about the zoning arrangement. People were talking about some other factors. Let's look at some of the things that will shape this election. We'll continue the conversation from time to time. Let's look at the issue of zoning. Uh, I hear that noise from your state that um, the people from uh, the uh, Southern Centurion District should not be talking about being a governor. That's where Lucia Gumimiko came from. Should it be their time? Why don't you allow the Ondo North to finish their time? What stops Akiri Dulu from having two terms or somebody from his zone? Not entirely. You, 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 you know, I was praying hard, and those of us in PDP were praying hard that uh, Arakuni Oluwaroti Miyakiri Dulu should win the primary, either by whatever means, whether right or foul. We were praying for it, and God answered our prayer. Because the scripture says it is only when you are faithful in a little that much can be committed into your hand. We are running a government of the father and the son and the wife. Me, I say this on an international television. How? Oh, no. The government of Ondo State is controlled. The, we have... Uh, well, you, know, you know the wife has this foundation no, before my, they my came dear, to government. My dear brother. You know what the wife Be, has been before doing? Before I can make this statement, I know what I'm talking about. I, I do not know. Okay, I'll tell you now. Why the governor is the governor of Ondo State, the son is a consultant to, uh, what do we call it, to uh, Inland Revenue. The Inland Revenue of you Ondo State. How sure are you? I am talking factually. And you are ready to be Oh, yes, court. of course. In fact, I, you are ready I, to I, be I, don't even, I don't have immunity. Please. I therefore enjoin them to now institute an action against me as I talk. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's so stay on the The issue. truth of the matter is this. We cannot continue with that. I said earlier, I said, he has done well for a war. If you look at the structure of government, everything is quote and unquote or -walized. The chief of staff or war. Head of service or war. The head of inland revenue or war. Name them. If you are talking of anything that is principal in on those states, it is our war. 
The issue of uh, having every, every part of the state carried along does not arise. And so, me, as an Elijah person, where oil is produced, where 13% derivation comes from, we need a change from this delude. And, and please take, take note. And you think they will abandon a son from their no, senatorial district? No, just a moment. You see, if your son does not do well, there is no basis of fronting in her head. For those who are saying, oh, let him do another four years. That happened in a neighboring state, in an immediate state to us. The governor didn't do well for four years. The father came on out and said, oh, if a child fails, you should be allowed to repeat the same class. The man repeated that same class and did worse. How can you make a failed person the, the, the uh, senior prefect of the school? We can't go ahead and do this. For us in Ondo State, Akerezu Teno is, okay. is expired. We are bringing in the Let's look at the dynamics of politics again. Um, for example, people would have thought that uh, with Abola staying back in PDP, maybe PDP would have a strong chance. But don't you think your vote is already divided with the deputy governor going to join another party? The, the ZLP is a reactionary party. Um, le let me say this. Mr. Akeri Delu, SAN, Mr. Agbola Ajayi are one and the same. So what you see in APC is what you see in, in uh, ZLP. What, why did I say so? Agbola Ajayi is still as of today the deputy governor of Ondo State. Notwithstanding that he has defected from APC, spent about a month or um, six weeks in PDP, and rolled over to ZLP. So for people that he may carry, there's no doubt about it. Even if Satan comes to deal with somebody will walk along with him. But the fact remains, PDP stands as a party. It is not the PDP member he has carried away. The people that are going to vote for Ita or Jegede are the electorate. And my brother, as, he, as Ita goes around on those states, even as late as 10 o'clock, you will see people waiting for him. Now, in 1993, there was a slogan in Nigeria when MKO contested. You will say, on the match again, waiting for Mr. President, MKO, Isawamano. When Dr. Gabu came on board, the song was, oh, on those states go shine again. He go shine, he go shine. That is, was the song. Today in on those states, the song we are singing is, Whatever that means. No, meaning that, <laughs> meaning, Whatever happens, a Yitayo must not go down. And that is the we song in the mouth of everyone. Uh, uh, and that is the game. This is, uh, this is just uh, the last question because of time, because we need to bring in the other person to talk about his own. But for me, I, I, I need a bit of uh, conviction here. Four years ago, it was part of my language. It was a landslide victory between your candidate and that of the incumbent governor. Have the people change their mind. People of Ondo State are very Republican in nature. In 2015, we voted against incumbent Jonathan and put in President Muhammadu Buhari. In 2019, when we knew that the, the government of Buhari has failed Nigeria, we went ahead in Ondo State and voted for okay. Atiku as against Buhari. Now, um, Akeredolu S.A.N. has messed up the state. We, we, we don't repeat failure. That, that's your opinion. No, no, no with, with respect. That's your opinion. Uh, well, if, my word can, if my word is uh, harmful, I'm sorry about it, but he has not lived to expectation. We will not allow him. A driver is taking you to Kanu. We will find uh, out. And then he is he's already drunk on the road. O Do you go on with that car? October 10 is here. We will find October out. October 10 is here. The people <laughs> of Ondo State, they have made up their mind. Whatever you say, but we appeal to them. Please, okay. for goodness sake, no gun. Don't cause violence. Don't cause crisis. When uh, uh, Mr. Jagede, uh, Mr. Um, Akedolu came in 2016, he didn't use gun. I was his returning agent. I, I was his agent. I was his agent. 
So okay. we, we didn't use gun. Therefore, this is the time of Jagede. I'm Don't sure use gun. We have listened to the governor. He has also condemned that attack you yes. referred to. And we wait to see how the whole thing turn out. Thank you once again, Mr. Benson and Nikome for your oh, time. Oh, that short. Ah, Thank you. yes, Thank the time you. is up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> we will yes, take sir. a short break, and when we come back, we will have a representative of the ruling party in Ondo State come to give us his own side of the story. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly. <laughs>